Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. I'm Ashley and today I wanted to share my spring decorate with me in my entryway, my main living space and on my fireplace. So I'm going to be showing you guys some of the new pieces that I shared in my decor haul, repurposing some items, and then also throwing in some of my staple pieces that I use year round. So I wanted to start first in my entryway area. I was gifted this piano by a family friend. So I've just kind of created this space um, for an entryway. We didn't really have one originally. It's just kind of a blank wall, but I really wanted to make sure I had this decorated for spring as well. These are some of the hydrangea stems that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. I love how realistic they look. They're so pretty. And then these are some almost like hydrangea buds that I found at Kroger and I thought they would be perfect together so I'm just going to put these in this pretty vase from Hobby Lobby just kind of move these around I want it to look like I just went out in the yard and picked hydrangea stems and stuck them in this vase so I'm just going to move these around until I feel like they look the most natural Now on the other side, I'm just gonna use this sweet little wicker basket. I absolutely love wicker. I probably have too much of it in my house, but I just love the warm neutral tones. And then I'm gonna pop this little bird in here with some greenery and some wooden eggs that I also purchased in my haul. I just thought it would be really cute to kind of just make a little nest here for the bird and the little wooden eggs. I just thought that would be precious here and simple, but also give me um, some spring over here in the corner as well. Now over here by the door, I have these little candlesticks that I purchased a set of four from Hobby Lobby. So I'm just gonna take two of these and put these up here, add a little bit of height on this little shelf. I got this from Hobby Lobby a few years ago and I like to decorate it um, just with little personal pieces and uh, seasonal pieces. I purchased this from Zulily a couple years back and I really love this sign, I thought this would fit perfect here and it's thin enough, it won't fall off of the shelf. And then I have another piece of wicker, a wicker basket. I got this from a thrift store and it has a little lip on it so I thought it would fit perfect here without falling, although I did struggle with it just a little bit. But I got it to stay and then I'm gonna add some greenery up here as well. I got these sweet little baby breath stems from Hobby Lobby last year and I thought they were perfect here. And I'm really excited about this find. This was a watering can that I found at Ace Hardware and I thought it would be perfect here on the hooks. I do go out daily and water my ferns in the spring and summer months. So I just thought this was a perfect touch by the front door. And of course, don't forget to take off your stickers. Those are a complete eyesore, but <laughs> I also found this sweet wicker picnic basket at a thrift store this year and I knew that I absolutely wanted to use this for my spring decor. So I'm just gonna pop this by the front door with a little blanket and a floral pillow. Now I'm 
gonna move into my living area and I just wanted to quickly change out this canvas on the wall. The one that I had here before was reds and blacks and it was really pretty up here during the winter months, but I really love this picture because of all the blues and the florals and the greens. I think it's perfect for spring, so I wanted to change that out. And I have been collecting these Magnolia Journal magazines for quite a while now, and they're always so beautiful. So I thought that I would display these over here on the side table and, you know, just for some extra reading if our visitors come over and decide they want to take a look at them. And then I'm just going to add some greens over here with those sweet little stuffed carrots that I got from the Target Dollar Spot. And now I'm just gonna finish off the couch with some light throw pillows. I like to try and break up some of that brown. It's not my favorite, but we just are gonna work with what we've got. So I always try to find some neutral, creamy pillows to brighten the couch up. And I'm just gonna add this pretty little coral throw over the couch as well, um, just to add a little bit of color. started on the fireplace. I'm just going to use these wooden candle holders from Hobby Lobby. I have always loved the look of these on my fireplace so I'm just going to pair these up here and then I got these little tiny green wreaths from the Target dollar spot last year and I thought these would be perfect for candle holders so I'm going to put these up here to add some life to these neutral white candles. Now I'm gonna add some of the newer pieces that I got this year uh, for Easter and for spring. And to be honest, I was really struggling with this fireplace. I really wanted some um, just hanging, maybe like cascading greenery. And I found some, but I just did not like it on my fireplace. So I thought I'm gonna add some green up here and some little bunnies and eggs and make it festive. But I think we're gonna just dial it back and keep it a little more simple. But I did just that and I think it turned out perfect he's only once this weekend you keep him busy always things to do our situation still undecided none of us knows what we want to do it happened last week when i stopped by your place my hands were shaking when i rang your bell and i If you show me this, I'll give you that Everything we ever wanted Now I'm going to finish off the living room by styling these open bookshelves on either side of the fireplace and I wanted to add a little bit of color so I just painted these books. I know that probably sounds silly but I thought it was perfect adding those little coral touches up here and then I'm just going to use a lot of greens I like to keep this space light and neutral because the dark shelves can sometimes make it hard to see and so I try to keep things light and bright and airy over here. I do like to have a little bit of color just to liven up these bookshelves but that's really my main goal when I'm styling this area of my home. If you show me this, okay.
I'm heading over to the left side of the fireplace and I found this sweet little bird cage. I thought this would be perfect on these shelves with a little bit of greenery and maybe some of those wooden eggs. So I had to climb up here to make that happen, but I thought it was really pretty up here and kind of brightened those shadows at the top of the bookshelves. So I've actually gotten some comments on past videos about having too many pictures out um, displayed in my home. And as a photographer, I love displaying my images. Um, it's just really special to me. I love seeing my children grow in these pictures and just being able to stop time and enjoy that for as long as I can is just so special to me. So I wanted to just say this. At the end of the day, this is my home, my happy place, and I am going to stick true to who I am and what I love, and I think that's so important to do, especially in a time where we are told to look a certain way or do things a certain way or act a certain way. I think that God created us all differently and all special and unique in our own ways. And I want to be all that he has created me to be. So my goal in each video is to encourage you guys, to motivate you guys to be all that you can be, not to be like me or do things like I do them, but just to give you that inspiration and that encouragement in your homes. And if you are a stay at home mom like me i know sometimes we get in these ruts and we want to change things up and make things new and love what we see and i love that i can bring joy to my home and to my family by just being creative and doing what i love so that brings me to the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as I did decorating my home and bringing some life into my home for spring. I hope that I was able to bring you some inspiration or some encouragement today. You guys and this channel has really been a blessing to me and I hope that I can just give a little bit of that back to you guys as well. So if you did like today's video, I hope that you'll hit that thumbs up button. That helps me out so much. And if you're new here, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did like it and you like this kind of content, I'd love for you to stick around, subscribe, and become part of my YouTube family. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys. Close to